Hello friends, welcome to basic course of QGIS. In earlier videos, we have learned how to clip raster and vector data. In this video, we will learn how to extract contours and height points from a dam. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and save this playlist so that you can easily get access to my videos and update you get updated videos as soon as I publish them so let's get started in earlier video we have clip data here it is our data of Jharkhand we have the clip data here is this is the raster data we had clipped in the earlier and this is the vector data which we had clipped these are the roads so we have to work with the raster data so in this dam we have to generate contours so how to do this just go to raster extraction contour a dialog box will appear input layer is your dam layer this is clip prt band number one this is the contour interval of which you want to generate contours you can give it to 10 20 30 5 or anything i will go with 10 meter 10 meter and this is the attribute field name where the height of contours is stored in a contour layer generated so these are the two parameters we will give and nothing else we will change and just click run and we will get a temporary layer so you will get here these are the contours you can check the values of these contours if I take the information tool and click on contour this will give me elevation of 590 and this contour is of 580 so there is an interval of between these contours is of 10 if I click on this this is 600 so these are the contours of 10 meter interval so there are many others contour also like this so we can remove them so how to do this uh, we have to first find the these are the what is this this is the length of 56 meter the contour length is 56 so we have to remove so suppose we want to remove up to 500 meter length contours then how to do this uh, we will do select okay so how to select that select by expression so expression is dollar length less than five hundred I'll give 501 so uh, all contours less than this length selected so this is these are the selected you will see all the contours less than 500 meter one meter are selected so I'll select this layer contour edit and then click on delete yes so all the, the small contours were deleted this is how you can delete using select by expression and thus close now we have the contours of 10 meter interval now we want to some point values if we have some point values on top of the hills then how to get uh, dem value into that that is a dam raster value to that point so first we have to place the points 
so just create a layer new temporary sketch layer I'll just name it a point geometry type point projection same nothing to change or we can change it to we can create a field here such oh, GST height of pole number and to fill we're creating a default field a field here so we can get values here okay so I'm just uh, creating placing the points uh, turn toggle editing and start placing the point one point here and just click OK one point here click OK one point here click OK one point here and uh, another points one on this top okay you can put the points on jun uh, junction so of a stream also and one point here I have these points so I'll just place one point here and I'm just putting random points I'm just putting random points so these are the my points I, I left this place also so these are the po my points uh, you will see attribute table here is nothing so just save this now from con pressing control K you navigate to this portion and just type here raster value to add raster value to features just click this I'm just using this point layer as a shape file and select the grid as a raster dem click VRT click OK and interpolation is nearest neighborhood and just run I will get a new result layer here in which we have the points and the elevation column having raster value data so just wait for some time oh it's created okay just close I'll just check the attribute table no it's not it's not created so what's the reason behind this just checking just again okay I'm just input VRT okay nearest neighborhood I'm just trying to save to file uh, it's a shape it's in my shape then points save and click run I don't know why it's happening yeah now I get earlier I don't know why it's creating error so this is my new height point value I'm just turning off this these are the my height points I'm just changing this color to yellow you will see these are the points and I will check the attribute value so this is the raster value of all points we have placed I want to just uh, transfer these values to height so just toggle editing click on height and select clip VRT I'm just transferring these values to this and click update all you will see all values are come here and just save just uh, delete this delete this column so add it and delete this clip VRT ok so that's so now we have a height point layer with raster values you can see them here also just turning on the labels and these are the height points and I'm just changing the color this is the you will see these are the values of a point you can cross check with also this this is 651 and we have this contour of 
640 so this is on a higher value of contour and we can also find the, check this contour also this is 600 can value contour and it's top on 611 meters similarly this this is 60 so this is how we can generate contours and generate height points from a raster data so if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe and save this playlist and bookmark this playlist so you can easily get videos thank you for watching